Hi guys, Blackhawk here. In today's video we will go over some best mining GPUs um, in March 2021. In my uh, previous video I uh, checked uh, mining GPUs um, uh, up until February 2021 but um, now some things have changed and we want to see what, what is different um, now in March. So, um, let me explain the colors of this spreadsheet first, so you will not be so confused. Um, what is in black color? So, all the GPUs in black color, this is what we already know. These are the GPUs that are already out on the market. You can actually buy it, well, it is very hard to get it, but um, you can, basically. So, for these cards, we already know uh, consumptions, um, uh, performance, uh, price, um, and stuff like that. Um, then we have cards in this uh, pink color. Um, these are the cards that are not yet out. They have been announced or, or there have been some rumors about those cards, but they are not out yet. And um, all those numbers are just speculation. Are, something I um, expect and probably it will differ from these numbers. Okay, and then uh, cards in the red color. Um, those are the cards that have changed some specifications in last month. Um, from my last video, which was in February, up until um, March, uh, some specifications changed in, um, of those cards that are in red color. So let me now focus on, on cards in red color. So we have here RX 6700 XT. This was the card that I, I was really looking forward for mining, but um, as you can see in last video, I predicted 192 bus width and performance of about 45 to 50 mega hash. Um, this have now been confirmed. We, we, we did get some um, leaks that uh, mining performance is around 47 mega hash and I believe it will be a little bit higher once um, drivers and software is finalized so we can get up to 50 mega hash at consumption of around um, let's say I don't know 80 to 100 watts but the big problem is that I was expecting 350 um, dollars MSRP price but price was um, announced to be $479, which is now really, really bad. So this card now, I, I don't consider it good for mining because MSRP is way too high. Okay, and um, when it comes to AMD cards, um, we, we did get some confirma confirmation that um, they are preparing some mining GPUs. Um, we don't know the specs yet, but um, we know that those mining GPUs will be uh, based on RDNA1 uh, architecture, which is um, architecture of, um, of 5000 series. So not, not the newest ar architecture, because the newest architecture isn't the best for mining. It, it implements Infinity Cache, um, which is not um, really any useful for mining. Um, okay, that's it about um, AMD cards. Um, also, we can we can speak a little bit about uh, RX 6700. Well, probably because RX 6700 XT is 479. Probably this now will will also be much higher, like 429. Probably and um, uh, the same like with uh, 6700 XT. Also, 6700 will be way um, too expensive um, to buy it for mining. Um, let's now focus to, uh, on media cards. Th there has been a huge uh, change in RX 3080 Ti specifications. NVIDIA is const constantly changing specifications, so we really don't know what the cards will end up uh, until they are uh, officially announced or um, released. So um, this card changed memory to 12 um, gigabyte. Uh, MSRP is pretty much the same, but now this is the, the, the important difference. 
bus width from 320 went to 384 so this is the same bus width that um, 3090 has and uh, this also means that um, performance will increase because we, we get more memory bandwidth now and performance um, for ethereal mining will be in line with 3090 but power consumption will be a bit lower um, roughly 250 or maybe 270 watts or thereabout so this card now gets very interesting for mining and then everything else is the same um, okay um, also 3060 was just released but um, um, NVIDIA implemented this um, mining uh, lock at the BIOS level um, because they, they want to prevent miners to mine on their, um, on their um, GeForce cards because they want gamers to be able to buy them so this 3060 um, only gets 26 mega hash on ethereum mining which is uh, roughly 50 percent of what it should get so um, this is not good for ethereum mining mm, and um, i have heard and this is really bad news that rtx 3080 ti will have the same lock so this performance it should be 120 mega hash but with lock it will be around 60 mega hash and also RTX 3070 Ti should get the same lock at the BIOS level so this expected 100 mega hash will become 50 mega hash let me put this in red because numbers um, changed okay so now as you see this 3080 ti and 3070 ti that were the most expected cards for mining are suddenly not good anymore i will put it out of my um, uh, cards that i wish to buy um, and that is really bad um, but also nvidia is preparing some mining gpus we will uh, we will see what those gpus will be um, I did get some info that probably it won't be it, it won't be Ampere based but it will be Turing based so those will be old GPUs and um, we, we really don't have any information what what, um, what power consumption and performance will be and price and such things so this is just speculation well, basically, um, as you can see, NVIDIA is, uh, is locking new cards for mining, so this will, uh, probably new cards that are coming out won't be good for Ethereum mining, but um, we can already confirm that 3060, um, even though it is Ethereum locked, um, it, it gives good hash rate on other algorithms, but other algorithms are not as profitable as ethereum so ethereum is way way more profitable as other al algorithms so if your card is locked for ethereum mining this is really bad most people want to mine ethereum because it is way way more profitable than anything else and also it is way way less speculative because if you're mining some small coin who knows maybe this coin goes tomorrow to zero but ethereum won't go ethereum is uh, a sure thing it will stay here it will do good in the future um, well basically guys this is uh, what i had to say about um, uh, changes from february to march uh, we will just have to wait and see what those mining gpus from amd and nvidia will be capable of but um, at the moment, um, markets are still, are still, um, well, cards are still way overpriced um, at the moment because the prices you see here, those are MSRP prices. Those are the prices that should, um, that you should be able to get cards at, at those prices. But in reality, there is no way you will get cards at these prices. These prices are usually 1.5x uh, of what um, they should be. 
so at, at the moment I just don't see um, which card I, sh I I would like to buy e at the prices that are currently so I will just um, just um, wait and and keep uh, watching uh, how the situation will will change uh, in the near future. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you you get some more idea what is going on in the um, GPU um, GPU division. Um, if you like the video, please um, uh, give me a like and leave a comment down below, and please stay tuned for uh, more future videos. Cheers!